any frameworks or like how, how should someone first in a big company and then we can also think the same thing applies now as you said startup and like yeah. everyone's in a level i do think it levels yeah. the field in the yeah. sense that the yeah. muscle groups that we all have to develop yeah. are the same i talk to a bunch of the startups i yeah. see the same thing in yeah. microsoft it's even more important in this world to know whether you're going to have a durable value or not mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. first question I, i say is hey is this something that a general purpose model mm-hmm. foundational model with a chat interface can that answer this right so if you're building something that is a oh i am going to uh, answer questions about this specific narrow subdomain the the general purpose model can ask and uh, answer that question so that's mm-hmm. number one mm-hmm. is it going to be durable mm. i think the second one is do you have any proprietary data or domain specific expertise or process knowledge mm. that can then be part of that model mm. so if you are for example building a very t- tailored specialized agent for um auditors or for financial analysts and you have like proprietary data that can either be used to express the features or to even post train the model mm. right so that's another advantage here mm. and i would say i think the third one which there is a difference between startups and large companies is distribution if you already have customers who are asking for those things then you should be able to like do a better job of like serving those customers